All right. Finally back again. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, I'm using the old camera again. Uh, <clears throat> new one. I'm kind of getting, you know, a little bit tired of the um, this like wide angle lens that makes the screen all weird and fish eyed bulge thing, bulge effect eye movie. I don't know what it's called. Um, but finally back. I was just on vacation. Um, Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. Uh, it was great. You know, I had really great. Plenty of places to take this. Um, a lot of sand as well. It's got a lot of sand in it. But only thing is, um, I was out and uh, this drive shaft is still broken. So that's a problem. Uh, it wasn't too bad. You know, but today just going to be talking about like some of the things that I learned um, from being there, you know, <clears throat> in the sand with three wheels, three wheel drive, um, as well as putting the truck back together. Let's see, fourth tire. There we go. So, I guess first of all, tools. Um, I had pliers, screwdriver, hex key thing. Uh, what I did not have is my hex key set, uh, which means that on one of these tires, let's see, somewhere here, I know it's, hmm. anyway, the bead got unseated, um, in one of the bead locks, I know it's because, like, these tires, or, I'm not sure if it's the tires or the wheels that's the problem, but, like, it has a very shallow bead, and, uh, it's pretty easy to get it out. I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere sometime when I'm not expecting it. Um, but yeah, I guess the first thing is getting these tires back on. So starting up in the front. Let's see. So first lesson, number one, uh, bring all your tools. Or at least what you'll know, what you know you'll need. I did use this little um, screw bin thing here. It helped quite a bit. You know. Without it, I have to take a whole truck, which is um, it's pretty big. Luckily, I was just all I had to do was take off the bumper and the wheels. Uh, I did not learn that on the way there. Um, I had the whole thing like completely disassembled down to like the everything basically everything in separate pieces you know I wouldn't take apart the transmission because it's kind of scary <laughs> but let's see this is a little bit hard it keeps shifting all right and the pin keeps falling out and is that good there we go all right and tire Yes, I'll have to wash it. Um, not doing that now. There's a sink. Uh, Alright, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it is a lot harder on three-wheel drive. You just kind of have to watch out that whichever wheel is not powered, um, you know, you're not, like, going into... Ooh, it's one o'clock. You're not going into any kind of, um, like, especially, I don't know the word for it, uh, I got mixed up in a lot of words, especially bad terrain, I guess. Alright, there we go, first wheel, get that on, tighten it, oh, I can hear the sand, that's not, not good. By the way, um, oh yeah, modifications, uh, I have this move the battery tray up to the back, um, you know, it's not the best right now, eventually I'll probably get, like, one of the, um, some kind of a, uh, a bed or a box or something, um, or when I do get the um clear body for it i might go with like 
not even chopping off the back of it like I did this time. You know, keep this body around uh, just in case. You know, it's something that I'll probably need in the future. Uh, I mean, I might not. Yeah, alright, this is annoying. Let's see, try to shift it over. That's one of the nice things with this open or exposed spur gears that you can just move it over. There we go, and that's nice. So, that is the wheel for here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the bead on this tire is a little bit out, so I'll have to do that. Um, might as well just get it over with, do it now. Uh, if you're looking at yellow stuff on the tires, still mustard. <laughs> Don't ask how that happened, it's, uh, it's quite a long story. <clears throat> Alright, get that on, and then I'm going to have to, you know, I'll do it with the, um, tires on. So, getting out the smallest... Uh, hex key and then just move this back in frame. Just kind of slowly move that one a bit, that one a bit. It's the kind of tedious thing with especially this uh, hex key set because you have to watch out that it's it's all like straight it's a little bit hard I could do oh that works all right I just need it open enough that I can reseat the bead of the tire that good all right I'll I'll leave that let's move on to the next side yeah that wheel is completely free all right so on this side I've got some oh that's a it's not good all right we'll have to look at that um, yeah, another thing I learned is that, like, I did bring a whole bunch of screws, um, I put those away now, but I have a feeling it was a good idea, um, just because, you know, you lose a screw, that's kind of it, if you're out on the trail, uh, no screw, then... I mean, your axle could come apart. Body mount. A whole lot of things. Uh, now, one of the some of the good things I learned, though, are that um, like these wheel wells combined with the um, the floorboard skid plate thing. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, part of the the whole skid plate. Um, did help a lot in keeping all the sand out. Um, I did only bring... Here, let me get it. Repo safe. Always use them when you're traveling. The stock nickel metal hydride. Um, the, uh, the lipo was like... I think it might have been like two grams or something a really small amount of lithium too much um and i know like it probably wouldn't matter they'd probably let me through anyway but just didn't want to take the risk you know uh just in case so obviously i brought this plus you know if it gets lost i have the other battery it's not too bad Ooh. and I did bring 
Uh, everything was basically stock, actually. I had the stock transmitter in, um, stock receiver as well, up there. Uh, you know, just because it's waterproof, I wouldn't want to ruin one of my, um, receivers. Plus, again, that's like, I wouldn't bring an extra one of those, so I'd prefer just to have a waterproof one in and not worry about it. So now, I guess, we're moving on to the front bumper. No, that's going to be the last thing. This is out of focus, uh, just tell me. Like, right now. You know, as I'm filming this, tell me. Is it out of focus? Uh... Alright, putting that in, try to get it to a good, there we go, I think that's how I usually have it. Alright. Get that screw right on in. Okay, there's one. Let's see. One and let's see. Here's the second one. Ah. One and maybe this time it'll wear third time is the charm. Yep. Alright, so let's talk about this back battery box. This is, again, uh, just Kydex. It's nice and thick, nice and durable. Um, the battery is in a little bit of bad shape. Uh, I don't care, though. I would sit here, um, and surprisingly, it did not fall into the spur gear uh, as it was running. Somehow, you know, that didn't happen. Obviously, uh, the LiPo is a hard case, so... <clears throat> that would be less of a problem with it, uh, but I think there is a little bit of damage, maybe it fell in once, um, so far that's been working pretty well, um, as for the body, which can now be my, oh, there we go. Apparently, I can adjust the focal point. Is that, that helping any? No. Seems to be helping a little bit. I'm not sure though. Alright. Move it back so it's in focus. The body has the, uh, oh, that's coming off. Alright. The body has this back plate here. Try to get this on and everything. Alright, goes in the front. Comes down. Back. Up. Alright, that's it. So this is how the truck is now. Uh, I have some of, these are the fuel tanks from my um, WPL M35 military truck. And yeah, so lessons I've learned. Um, Three-wheel drive is fine, you know, if you're careful. Uh, bring all your stuff, because accidents do happen. Um, inner fenders are great to have, especially in the sand, because without them, there would be like whole lot of problem in there. Um, now for upcoming stuff, uh, I'm probably, when I get the new body, I'm going to, um, I did get all of the inner fenders, so I'll probably put that on, redo the skid plate here thing, um, keep the body, like, completely full length. I know that in some competitions, like, these kind of half trucks aren't too common. I would like to stay with what other people do. Um, as you can see in the bottom, 
I like to keep this, uh, that's a, wow. <clears throat> I like to keep this all nice and sealed in, um, as you can see when the wheels turn, that's angled, a tiny bit of sand got in, <sighs> oh, and it looks like, yeah, battery did come out, um, I'm not going to make a latch for this, because I kind of like, like when you're on the trails on the rocks, how it's kind of flapping like that. It's a little bit nice. Just a small detail. It means a lot. Uh, but that is going to be it for this video. 15 minutes long. Wow. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.